believe that's it. Good. They're all packed up then. Yes, sir. You know, the truck of yours won't do much longer. Folks, that ain't machine, but the man that matters. You handle things all right. I should be saying, bro. I'll still serve to you, boy. Yes, sir. You just gotta be. Sheriff's sure, coming, Paul! Get off! Get out of the hole, boy! What should I do? Get going! Levers. Boy, sit your tail down. Are you asking for a bullet coming up your lid up like a ballpark? Why again? Damn right. I ain't give you leave to go. Me and my boys are new here. And we aim to tell you how we're going to do things. I appreciate the courtesy. Them shotguns ain't for long, man. They're for stool pigeons. Slow poles. Get me? Yes, sir. You in over your head, boy. I can handle myself. You don't be the judge of that. You best get. Eager to greet the day, so. Mm-hmm. Maybe I ought to have your papa take you out back and give you a what for. I think you're doing good. Jimmy, you are risking an awful lot. Oh, God, I eat, don't we? Well, we've gotten by so far. Well, I'm all help. I guess if anything ever happened to you, I'd die. Why ain't there no corn much on my plate? I suppose my son ain't been out to milk the cow. Milton pails, women's work. You talking back to me, Jimmy Lou Allen? No, sir. I was just saying. Right. Here's your biscuits, and your eggs are gonna be ready in a jiff, okay? Jimmy, get yourself a biscuit. Yes, sir.
What you been doing with my truck? Fix that old lake you was on about. Guess you took the liberty testing it after. Just for a a while. This family can't afford them kind of kicks, you hear me? But I just want to... Leave, leave that truck be, as I say. You understand me? You got that? Huh? Jimmy. Yeah, Mom. Was you planning on meeting up with Bill and Fred later? I'd sure like to. Blair's just back from High Rock Lake. Mm. No trouble. Won't start now, won't be none. Okay. I'll talk to your daddy about the truck. All right. Howdy, Pop. Hey. Pin up them chickens? Sure did, a while ago. What a surprise. <laughs> Been there's the first time for everything, ain't there? What? Nothing. Yeah. What I thought. Well, y'all been running this thing hard. Give me a yank. You want to help me wipe down the flathead? No, not particularly, Fred. Go on. I got him. Gracious alive, Jimmy. You see this thing? Gonna have to farm in here. <laughs> you plan on picking up Brack's delivery? Can't do it. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Tuesday is needlepoint night for you, isn't it? Oh, listen to you. Man, it ain't like you need it. Your cattle are better than most. Y'all two need to quit messing with that devil juice. I tell you. Look, Fred, how we come by our living's our own business. I hear they filter that stuff through radiators. Well, how come you think it tastes so good? <laughs> oh. Well, y'all gonna help me pick this hay out of the engine? <laughs> This is a fine mess in here. Pop stander still up? Mm-hmm. I wish you'd just give me a chance. You, you ain't no help. Oh, well, bless his heart. Stop that. You know, he sure gets on billing me with the quickness. Fathers are always tough with their sons. Well, Bill ain't even his kin. Well, something tells me he's sore about some of the breaks Bill's daddy got that he didn't. Just don't seem fair. I expect your papa probably feels the same way. Well, I'm gonna hit the sack. Got a whole hill of potatoes to dig tomorrow. Have a wife to get home to? Already, Pop, you scared the devil out of me. 
I see you still itching to get the feds crammed down your throat. No reason to trouble us. Bill Blair, are you going to stand there and lie right at me? No, sir. You know, around here, a mason jar's got more lives than a cat. Let your mama put something less incriminating in him. He never got a call from the sheriff on me. Don't underestimate Beecher, son. He knows every car in this county. My apologies for trying to spread a little joy around here. Tires are getting a little slick on this side. Yeah. Thanks, Bob. Cold prison shower is a poor substitute for that bride of yours. Yes, sir. you got? Son, I will bet you half this payload I get past Beecher before you did. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on, come on now. Come on, baby. Please don't let this be Beecher. That's you, Bill Blair. Yes, sir, Sheriff. I'm I'm glad to see you. I was just out looking for you. That's so. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. there's there's a ruckus up yonder. A couple of big old boys. They're they're duking it out, and uh, I'm sure they could use your assistance. Then why are you stopped? Everything all right? With, with me? Yes, yes, sir. I'm fine. No, I'm just, I'm just looking for flashlights, all. So you could look for me. Oh. <laughs> right. You got me there, yeah. Uh. That's Mrs. Mm Sakes, man, what happened? Feature. Did you catch it? Uh-uh. But damn near. Told him I saw a couple of boys duking it out over a girl on Miller's Road. Clever. I don't know about all that, but I think he bought it. Yeah, until he finds there ain't no girl, ain't no dukes. One more night with my Lucille. It's all I see clear to. So we ain't gonna get yourself a girl anyway. Can I find one that's worth getting? Well, hell, I can name you if you ain't so keen on polite conversation. You know what I'm saying? Can't afford to go steady. Well, who said anything about that? Anyways, you still owe me half a beating. Oh. <laughs> Fair's fair, I suppose, but it's technicality, you ask me. That's about half, I guess. Mm hmm. Mm. See, that's just not right. Doors open, Carrie. Factory whistles in 20 minutes. 
Well, then we better get a move on. I'm ready. What do y'all gus it up for? Mama says always be prepared. gonna walk. It is miles to the factory. I will not make it in these shoes. Hey, I got an idea. We're near the Lou Allen home place. They got a truck and a nice looking boy to drive it. What do you say? It's a good thing you put on all that lipstick. Morning, Mrs. Lou Allen. May I help you? I'm Dottie. This here's Carrie. I'm a friend of Jimmy's. Is he home? Well, he's out tilling. I can have Harold fetch him. That'd be right kind of you. Harold? So how do you grow like Austin? Too quiet for me. Daddy seems to think it's a good place for me to stay out of trouble. Carrie's new here. She seems to like it on her own. Well, then you two should come to the friends meeting on Sunday with us. I reckon I might. Thank you. Well, hey there, Jimmy. I haven't seen you in a while. What brings you by? This is Carrie's son. She's another woman from the boarding house. How do you do? Hi there. Pleased to meet you. These ladies could use a ride to work, son. I'd be glad to. Yeah, come on. Thank you for the water. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. This is just so sweet. I gotta think of a way to express my gratitude. <laughs> Don't mention it. It's gonna hop in the back. No, 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 no. Come here, come here. Sit up front. You can sit in the middle. Sure. Yeah. Come on. Taking on mechanics work now? No, sir. I'm just trying to help a couple of girls out from the factory. I see. Need a hand? Appreciate it. All right. Check the hose. Badness the carburetor. Things are always getting clogged. Yeah, could be that. But, uh, it's the hose. Take a look. Clamp's loose. Bet you what happened was engine overheated because the water evaporated out of it. So all you gotta do is you tighten that clamp down, you go out to well, get a pail of water, you fill it up, it'll be good as new. Girls are gonna like that. But, Well, hey again. Don't you clean up nice. Want to come in for some lemonade? I got your car running. Uh, is Carrie here? I was kind of hoping she'd get me right home. She's off running errands with Miss Haggins. Oh. Well, I could give you a ride. <laughs> uh, no thanks. I'll just soon walk home. That's all right. So are you gonna be home for supper? She'll be home around supper time. All right. Hmm. Hey, Bill. Yes, ma'am. Well, make sure he gets home by supper. Oh, you can count on me, Ms. Lou Allen. Oh, don't you worry. Bill's got plans with me tonight, and he ain't gonna be getting in any trouble. 
Ain't that right, Bill? Hmm? Yeah, ab absolutely. Whatever you say. <laughs> All right, well, you boys best be getting along. I'll see you at the barn, Bill. Bye, Mom. Bye, honey. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Hey. Hey. I give you a lift? That's all right. I seem to have better luck walking than I do riding these days. Dropped out his car off the other day. Kind of hoping to see you then. Why's that? No reason. Well, should you best be getting on here? All right, then. I guess I'll be seeing you later. Man, this fuel line's pushing slower than molasses in January. You want a hand? No, I reckon I got it. Say, where did she run off to? She went with Mom and Pop to see the new calf. Oh, ain't it so cute? Come on, Belle. Let's go see the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that's the cutest thing I ever did see in my whole life. I tell you what. <laughs> Carrying on. <sighs> hey, so how about that Carrie girl? Wait, ma'am. She's my pretty. I suppose. You suppose? I saw you looking at her. So, I look at lots of things. <clears throat> hey, are y'all two gonna quit your gossiping and give me a hand? I ain't gonna be able to keep this car running if y'all keep treating it the way you do. This coming from the man who changes the fuel line from under the car. Hey, <laughs> never you mind. I'm the only one here who knows what I'm doing. Jeez, Fred, what's eating you? Nothing's eating me, but I can't very well feel sorry neither when y'all two are forever up to no good. No good? Did he just? He did. <laughs> Frederick, that hurts my feelings. But I tell you what, I'm going to make you a little wager on just how no good I really am. I got 10 cents here. It says in my coop, can take both y'all's cow patties to the fence line and back. You don't say. I sure as hell do. Called. What, what do he want? You know damn well what he wanted, Bill Blair. Uh, uh, I just come in from Greensboro, Mr. Blair. Well, you got more sense than the two of these put together. And now be a good time for you to head on back. <laughs> Front and center, boys. Y'all were tearing hell out of the roads when you came back from church. And I'm not going to stand for it. If you two want to do something with these machines, other than what Henry Ford intended, well, that is one thing. But when you bring your speed devlin to the roads of Randolph County, now that is something else. Pop, we will lay off. I oh, promise. Oh, you will do more than that. You will cease and desist today and that includes the cornfields and the cow pastures look pop we, we didn't mean pop, to stir up now any listen trouble here i hear tell any more foolishness from you two and i will call your pop and i'll sick beat her on you my damn self now are we clear yes sir well get out of my sight Lord, where y'all 
been at, boys? I didn't think y'all was ever gonna show up. <laughs> well, that was fun. We'll have to do that again sometime soon. Woo! So, uh, about that bet. Got anything for me? <laughs> I don't know that you earned that. And? Come on, quit holding. Oh, did you want me to help you out here? If you don't mind. Am I ever gonna see these back? I appreciate it. Probably not. Yeah, sure. Thank y'all fellas kindly. Pleasure doing business with you. As long as you know that I had you both. I'm Bill. Who's a cow patty now? Oh. Say, man, what'd you clear on deliveries this week? I don't know. Why? No reason. Oh, Lord, is this about Carrie again? No. Why you say that? Because you're sweet on her. No, I ain't. <laughs> well, good. With the girl sophisticated she is, she wouldn't have anything to do with you, farm boy. So you're just jealous because she's better than Lucille. Now, I know you're not well, talking about well, my Lucille, are you? Y'all simmer down. Simmer down now. Mm-hmm. I tell you what, Bill. I surely do miss the farm. Your mama's apple pies, your pop's voice cracking like bacon on a hot skillet, your sister's big old Hey, hey! Come on, Fred! <laughs> well, what in the tarnation are you doing? See, I was wondering when someone would take a shine to my genius. What I done here is, I rigged me up a do jobber what shuts off the brake lights from inside the car. Now, why'd you want to go and do something like that? That's only good for crooks and criminals. Well, you never know. Folks might like to have the option one day. Huh. Well, uh, I tell you what, Mr. Blair. You feel like giving her a test run up to the fence line? Red Pop would have our asses. You know, Mr. Blair only said not tear hell across Randolph County. Hmm. But we ain't in Randolph County. Thanks, Mama. Mm -hmm. You read my mind. Yeah. It is hot today. Indian summer's definitely a promise. Mm-hmm. We'll take it over a long winter day any time. Ah, oh, man. You know, you boys head up to the house and wash up. Jimmy, I mean, I want to know if you have intentions towards that Carrie girl. She, she won't even let me quarter past front steps. Seem to get her off my mind is all I know. Hey, you be careful with her, you know, because I, I hear she's not all she appears to be. What are you trying to say, Mama? Appears to me she's just a strong woman trying to make it on her own. Folks gonna hold that against her? Don't you think that's the kind of woman I ought to be with? One made of the same metal you showed me coming up? Well, you know, be that as it may. I mean, what do you really know about her? Life can't be fair to all of us. Yeah, I reckon not. This ain't all there is. Maybe not. Get her over here. Don't think me. I didn't have anything to do with it. Thank Lucille. She's the one with the touch. Lord, here we go again. 
if you want to impress her, why don't you just show her what you got? Because I ain't got squat. Speed, stupid. Girls love that kind of moxie. He's got a point, you know. What do you think? Couldn't hurt. What kind of driving was that? Bill. This is a working farm, and you know that. Don't you think for one minute, Bill Blair, I'm not up to whooping you just because you're a married man. Hey. Hey. What on earth took y'all so long? We just heard the sound of thunder from Pop. Oh. Great. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of racing as we know it. Oh. Good job. Way to go, fellas. Thanks, Fred. Lord have mercy. What is your Pop gonna do now? There's no telling, but I think we probably ought to head on back to town. This ain't gonna be the last I'll hear about it. Say, I'm gonna stay a spell. Yeah? Do you mind if I keep you company? Sure. See you, Carrie. See you later, Carrie. So how'd you get started in racing anyhow? You could say Bill and me is practically professionals. Moonshine, huh? Yeah. At least to have fun, right? I suppose. Why don't you like me? Who said I didn't like you? We sure have a funny way of showing it if you do. That ain't you, Jimmy. It's me. I know I'm just a farm boy and all, but I ain't stupid. I use that same line before myself. It ain't a line. It's cause where I come from, my background and all. How bad could it be? You really don't know why I'm here? I used to be married. You're kidding, right? My mom and daddy, they struggled since the day I was born. They had a whole mess of kids, and I was just always looking for an opportunity to get out of that house. I just wish I wouldn't have taken the first opportunity that came around. I mean, after I got married, I mean, he did nothing. He laid around all day. I mean, I had to go get work, and it ain't easy to get work where I come from. It's not like it is here. And it just kind of got bad, and... I left and got divorced. Now I'm here. It's kind of how my family's too. I mean, I want to get away from it all, but I can't. Okay. Do you love him? 
Yeah. I suppose I did. It's just for all the wrong reasons, though. Mr. Blair, you know where Bill is? You can try the back fields behind the barn. What in the name of God? Jimmy? Yeah? Two bit says I can beat you ten times around this thing. How y'all doing? Right. Good. This uh, this here is Henry Suttles. Hey, hey here. How are you? Pleasure. I invited him to nice. come up and nice race with us. Nice thank you for having me. We, we were just remarking on that car. That's right. Sharp. Is that yours? Well, well thank you. Um, that's my pop's car. Oh. My, my pop will make me quit school if I tear up his car. <laughs> so you don't go that fast? <laughs> we, we yes, yes ma'am, I'll, I'll go fast. Oh, I just thought because your friends is Fred and all. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? This is Carolina racing. Red dirt tracks and dried up fields. Hey, fellas. Hey there, baby boy. Hey there, Miss Mason. Don't you dare speak to my wife. Buck, you already causing trouble? Jimmy Llewellyn as I live and breathe. Henry, you got your car ready for the race? Sure do. Fred's been a big help. Hey, you want to quit your job and let's go get you tied in? It's OK, you being here, Buck. You just mind your antics on the track. And you mind yours, and I'll mind mine. You best be doing right, or you know what's coming. Nothing. 
You reckon you might take me on a proper date now? You mean it? Well, there's no reason to be so eager. I didn't agree to marry you or nothing. Let me show you something. Come on. What? I'll show you. Come on. What are you doing? You'll see. After you. Okay. Just hang on. Surprised to see you up before dawn. What'd I tell you about that truck up there? Sir? I marked how much gas was in it last night. Well, I fill up Ryder's rain after chores. Yeah. But don't worry about it. You ain't gonna be using that truck no more. But, Pop! I'm through letting you take chances with what little the good Lord has seen fit to provide us. Pop, you got a lot to say about what goes on around here. I ain't your property to do with. What did you say to me, boy? Imagine you were. Hey, you want to hand me that socket wrench? Thank you. Listen, I keep mm -hmm. fouling number two. I tried rejecting it, but I'm just not getting anything out of it. Your thoughts? You might want to check your points on the distributor. It might be great. What happened to you? Roy? I hope you don't mind me saying this, but Roy's just Roy. You can't you can't let him get to you like that, Jimmy. He was madder than a possum in a gas can. Well, that weren't nothing compared to when Ellie finds out about you and that carry girl. You're too young to understand. No, I ain't. I got me my own fiance. To what? Yep. Uh, what's her name? Betty. She's as pretty as the day is long. I, I met her up at the roller rink. <laughs> yeah, right. And I got another spot of news what might cheer y'all up. My daddy took that manager job down at the furniture mart. Well, you idiot, how's that good news? He's gonna let me manage the garage, stupid. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good news. Cheers. I don't want to be the one to bring this up, but um, are you gonna make a living without a truck? More than that, how am I gonna race? I don't know, you can come work for me if you want. No, I gotta help tend the farm. At least wise till my brothers get bigger. Got this saved up though. Ought to be good for something. Well, you know, I did have a fella from up Trinity Way come in the garage today. He tried to sell me his coupe for $50. $50? Did he push it in? Why don't you say so? I hope. But I got his address right here. Ladies, ladies, ladies. <laughs> Look out for how he looks. I believe they're. Oh, look, they're so pretty as a pigeon on a. <laughs> so. It looks oh, like a pigeon, <laughs> I believe there's a matter of a quarter. Oh, that's your quarter. Oh, yeah, I guess it's a quarter. Hey, I don't believe <laughs> Come on, boy. Come on. Here, take oh, it. Oh. I'll take you both down right here where we are. <laughs> oh, Lord. Tell hey, you what. There you go. I can find you. Come back. Come back. That's what we think. Well, there's a rat big gun from Grace on me, but I reckon she'll do. 
I already made a few adjustments. Yeah, I like what you've done. Hey, Carrie, how about a kiss for good luck? In your dreams. <laughs> Where's the truck? Well, it's my new car. Ain't she a beaut? I guess. How am I supposed to count when it looks like all the others? <laughs> Come on. Have you lost your mind? Hey, false player! Not now, Buck. Hey, why you got Jimmy on the inside? I come in faster qualifying. Time is proper. You say so. I believe you in his pocket. I can't believe those guys got into it again. Do you look like Bill Torres trousers to you? Well, it's hard to say. Yep, I think they're done for. In all my married years, Carrie, I have mended more trousers than I've had dinners out. Oh. <laughs> hey, Luella. You advertising your lot in life? Your big zero. <laughs> hey, best be glad my tire blew. I'd have whooped you today. Can't you just congratulate me, Buck? Hey, Buck ain't capable of that. Come on. Let me go. Come on. I'll see you next Sunday. Come on, baby, come on. It's all right. Come on now, that's a good girl. I cannot believe that driving does this to your hands. You look awful. is his girl. No. And ain't no man ever gonna treat me that way. Jimmy, I don't wanna talk about that. I told myself I'm gonna enjoy my last days in Archdale. What do you mean? Well, they're laying off some women at the factory. And I'm gonna be losing my job soon. Without work, I'm, I'm gonna be moving. I can't stay here if I don't have any work. I reckon that's good for you. I don't want you to go. Carrie, you know I love you. Jimmy, I... Tri-City Racetrack. Good to see you. Welcome to the Tri-City Racetrack. Thank you. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, sir. Tri-City Racetrack. Welcome to it. Good to see you. You sure have done a mighty fine job setting all this up. Thank you. Is that your boy? Sure is. You know, he had an awful lot to do with putting this whole thing together, too. Mm. My boy, Buddy, is about yay high. <laughs> He's already into racing. Oh, Lord. Well, listen. It's about time for me to make the rounds. Why don't you come with me? I'll introduce you to some of the drivers. That sounds good. I'd appreciate that. Come on. Hey, Bill. Hmm? Who's that? Hey, say. Hey, go with your dad. It's Bud Nance. Race promoter down Florida way. Here they do it on the beach there. That'll put sand in your drawers. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to do it on the beach someday. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, your engine's running, but they're damn sure ain't nobody behind the wheel. What? <laughs> Henry. <laughs> Just keep eating your peanuts. 
Saw, but cutting him off out there. As much as I'd like to, we can't lay this at his doorstep. Saw what he was doing out there. Jimmy, you're no saint. But if you tell me this was an accident, I'll know you're telling the truth. It could have been you. What? Well, racing just ain't all that dangerous. You tell that to that dead boy's mama. <sighs> I reckon it ain't perfect. ain't always been good for you. Life can't be perfect for all of us. I know I ain't perfect neither. each other. Your love is like the crystal water, pure and sweet, it gently flows. Southern sun and mountain daughter, easy as it goes You expect to be long? Long enough for you to get your stuff packed up. Think your mom is gonna be mad? 
Well, if she is, we better find another state to sleep in tonight. I'll see you soon, Miss Llewellyn. Hey, Mom. What's wrong? You've been called to service. Jimmy. Care of yourself, son. Okay. All right, Mom. Okay. You'll be fine, Mama. Let's go. Jimmy, I love you. Is there ever any doubt? Living at your mama's is good. She's been real kind to me. She's been teaching me how to bake a lot of things. I think even your pop's taken a liking to me. Well, that might be because he found out he's gonna be a granddaddy soon. Get down, man. <laughs> you did say you wanted a whole mess of kids. I just want you to come home soon. I love you, Daddy. Enclosed is a picture of your baby girl at her second birthday. Everybody says she looks just like her daddy. And she is already talking up a storm. You won't believe it. I just can't wait for this war to be over. And I just want you to know how proud I am of you. I just want you home so you can hold me in your arms.
Dear Carrie. Oh, oh thank God, it's from Jimmy. <laughs> okay. I hope this letter arrives timely because I want to be sure you have plenty of notice. I'm coming home this <laughs> summer and I want you to be forewarned. Tell Harold I heard about him wrecking my car <laughs> and it better be fixed when I get there. <laughs> um, the box I sent contains a few mementos I got from things what happened at Normandy and the Battle of the Bull. Mementos. Um, please show them to my little girl so she'll know there's a reason she ain't not, she hadn't seen her daddy yet. The Purple Hearts ain't arrived. <gasps> oh, I believe there's three. They might get there before I do. Tell everyone <gasps> that I will see them soon. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> He's coming home. Yeah. Yes, he is. Oh, my. What's wrong, Rita? Stay and play with me. Oh, come here. Oh, Daddy's got to go to work. They need me to see to all them nice cars. You have to see me, too. How about if I tell you a story later? You mean it? Of course I do. I got to get. Daddy, we pull. No, sweetie. Why, why do you have to work so much? Well... Everybody's got to work. I don't. I'm just a little girl. <laughs> well, you help your mom around the house. Yeah, but I don't like to. <laughs> Here, give her to me. Oh, go see mama. Ah. Oh, give me a kiss, bye. Don't forget to pay the gas bill. I got it. Love you. Love you too. Lou Allen. Yay. How you doing? Good, yourself? Good, you're looking good today. Likewise. At my house, I've got a picture of you up there in Hickory, where your fourth tire finished the race before you did. You won the race, but only on three wheels. I remember that. Yeah. Let's get back to talking about your car. OK. Can we pop the hood for you? Yeah. How you doing, Bill? Well, I can't complain. Things pretty good. Been seeing your pop's campaign signs all over town. Yeah, things keep going the way they're going. It'll be Senator Blair come fall. You staying busy? Yeah, I got the dairy farm, and uh, I'm uh, running Tri City while Dad's on the road. You, you know, it keeps me keeps me going. I see uh, you getting. Getting restarted in the family business? Yeah. <laughs> well, you like doing the racetrack? Yeah, yeah, it's all right, I guess. But I'd rather be driving. Listen, uh, think maybe you'd come out this Saturday? Race a little bit? I don't know. I mean, what, with the family and all? I got the same. Yeah, but you ain't in a pinch to feed him every week. Well, for whatever it's worth, the purses are getting a little bit better. I'm not trying to talk into nothing, but I think it means a lot to the folks around here. Me included. You come on out and join us this weekend. 
You know, I've been waiting for a chance to whip you again. Oh, hell. <laughs> whip me again? Yeah. Like hell. <laughs> What's the thing about that, Bill? If that'll get you on out there, I'll take it. Well, we'll have to find out. Meet your suit, sweetheart. I don't want you to. You knew I was a racer when you married me. Carry the purse is $100. I don't care. After what happened to Henry and the war and everything, I thought that part of our life was over. Yeah. Well, I started thinking about that, too. Stop racing so that we could have all this for us. When I'm out on them tracks, I feel alive. Can't you understand that, Carrie? But you think we're gonna live forever. And we ain't. Yeah, but we gotta live. Come on, babe. Do you want some cake? Yeah. Can Daddy have a piece of cake too? Mm-hmm. Can you have two pieces of cake? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Look at this guy. Oh well, well. Nice hat. Well ain't this a hoot. Isn't it? Crazy, huh? How you doing, Bill? I'm good. You? Hey, what? Things sure have changed. How you doing, boy? Hey, Fred. Welcome back. Thanks. Yeah, the money still ain't nothing to squawk about, though. Is there anything you won't complain about? <laughs> oh, hey, I'm going to tell you guys, listen to this. I heard some of the drivers down in Georgia, they're getting sponsors now. You ever hear of such a thing? No. No. And he won't neither. You got to have know-how to get paid to race. But you are windy in a bag of buttholes. Fred Harb on a racetrack. Ain't that a sight? We got us a poker game going tonight over the campfire. You care to part with a few dollars? I suppose poker does beat your usual pastime. I want to fetch me a farm animals. <laughs> <laughs> you better shut your little mouth before I take a mind and knock your block off. Ooh. It makes me mighty scared, gentlemen. Give you a little piece of advice, Curtis. Don't take that fella too lightly. That boy will run you down and sure as look at you. Hey, he ain't kidding. Jimmy Lou Allen, how do you do? Is he kidding? No, Curtis, he ain't kidding. There's a time we tried to act like gentlemen out here. Oh, right. I see. Jimmy Lou Allen, Curtis Turner, resident playboy. Ah, uh, the ladies' man from Virginia. You have heard that Virginia's for lovers, right? <laughs> Where'd you hear that? I believe Lucille told me. Where is that old gal? Never you mind, Curtis, <laughs> never you mind. She run along. All right, gentlemen. I guess I will see you out on the track, old man. Mm-hmm. Got to get my beauty rest. We'll see you there. He does need his beauty rest. Reminds me of somebody I used to know. I... You've got a lot of nerve sneaking in so late. I just came to get a blanket. I'm gonna stay with Fred and Bell at the track. Just like the old days? Oh, I got you something. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. I'll tend to her. What'd you bring me? Tickets. Tickets. I'll take two. Jimbo. One. Ready? Hey, is this good? <laughs> uh, no. Four. Four, Jimmy. <laughs> and I'm the one that's losing. Dealer takes. Hell, I'll stand. 
you got? Full house. Pay up. Are you cheating? Ain't no way you can have a full house again, Buck. Y'all always accusing me of things. I don't have no idea why. Tell me you ain't got nothing up your sleeve. Oh, fellas, I'm out. I just can't keep this kind of company. Just to show you no hard feelings, you pay up, I'll buy you a drink. Hmm? I hear this here come from one of Jimmy Lou Allen's suppliers. Hey, you know I haven't messed with that in years. Don't you get all high and mighty with me, Lou Allen. Just because everybody thinks you were a hero over there, that don't make you shit back here. Can I borrow $2? No, you may not lose two of my dollars, Doug Rawls. Go on and ask your mama. You know, it must be awful hard work being such a son of a bitch, but I ain't gonna go join Fred. Like it is you and me, Buck. Take it easy, Jimmy. It's only a game. Mr. Nance, surprised to see you here, though. Thought you was off promoting a race off of Johnson Street. Well, you know I gotta check out the competition. Some mighty fine racing out there today. I, I see experience won the day. Feels good to be back out there. Well, I, I don't want to take up too much of your time. But, uh, do me a favor, call me Bud. My daddy's Mr. Nance, all right? Will do. All right. Congratulations. Thanks. Spam me, Grandpa, spam me. Oh, honey, Grandpa's too tired for that. Why don't you run inside and see Grandma? I know she wants to see you, okay? Okay. All right, hop on down. There you go. Oh, my goodness, you're heavy. Bye, Grandpa. Bye. bye love bye. you. I love you, too, darling. So how's the doctor? They don't know nothing. So you got the far fields, Moden Ray. Yeah. Your brother Harold come by done that. You gonna need some help telling? Nah. Mama made arrangements for that too. I see. You know, I started racing again. Got one coming up soon. You and Mom should come out and watch. No. No, your mama don't want to see that. All right, Paul. Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? I'd like to present your winner, Mr. Jimmy Lou Allen, number zero. Oh. Hey! Awarding that prize to the wrong driver. What are you saying, Buck? I won that race. You, Buck, you lost a whole lap when you stopped to fill up and have a smoke. I did no such thing. Darling, come here. Now, did you see me stop to smoke? Would you please tell this man, hmm? It says here you did, Buck, on lap 20. You need to pack up your car, Buck. You need to pack up. 
you get the hell off my track. Your track. <laughs> this track ain't nothing without me. Hell with all of you. Hey, Jimmy, I um, want you to address the crowd, if you would, my friend, and let these people know who the real winner of the race was. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Lou Allen. What's wrong? I'm all right. We won today, Carrie. Ain't you happy? Yeah. Nice buck. You all right, babe? Yeah. OK, right, easy. That's it. Easy, Jimmy. Rubbin's racing, slowpoke. <laughs> Mom, why did Daddy get that man? Get out. Yeah. Go. Too fast for you. Nope. Okay. Not walking too fast for you? Nope. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and run on inside, get yourself a cookie, okay? Okay. I'm gonna talk to your dad for a minute. You can't go doing that in front of Rita. What happens at the track between you and the boys needs to stay at the track. You can't go bringing it home. Buck had it coming. I know. But Buck's dangerous. And guys like that are a big part of racing now. It's not like it used to be, Jimmy. Carrie, you know what it means to me. And I never asked you to quit. I just don't want to see you die. What are you talking about? Jimmy, you're not 17 anymore. You have a family, you have responsibilities here, okay? And I'm not saying that all, all the guys out there are, are, are like Buck and they're dangerous, they're, but they're not like you and Bill who do it for the love of it. And it takes one guy like Buck Mason and you can end up dead. Just one. You shouldn't think about things like that. How can I not? Huh? How can I not? I don't want to be alone, Jimmy. And it scares me to death to think about what it would be like if you wasn't here. I'm already alone trying to take care of Rita, waiting for this baby to come when you're out camping with your friends. And I don't want to take away from that, Jimmy. I don't. But it's hard. It's hard, Jimmy. I'm just trying to do right by us. Just live a little. I work hard, Carrie, you I know, know that. And that's not what I'm trying to say. You know, we may struggle, but you take care of us good. You do. But you gotta understand the position you put me in, and this family in, when you're out there racing. Think about that. Listen. Mr. Nance is calling a meeting down at Daytona Beach. Some sort of business proposition. Well, what's it about? I don't know. Mr. Nance is smart. And he wants me there. And I want to go hear him out. We can't afford to do anything. I work at the Ford dealer for crying out loud.
can't feed a family on race winnings. What I'm saying is let's make a formal arrangement with the drivers. Keep people in the stands, keep our garages open. Now, as a one-time driver myself, I've been swindled more times than I care to count. We can and we should protect these drivers from unethical promoters. And stop all the fighting. Yes. And my first order of business would be to expel the likes of Buck Mason and any other driver like him from any of my races. Now, if this thing is handled right, there could be a lot of money made at it. Sounds like it'd be a lot safer, too. Measurably. Now, here's what I need. I'm asking each of you for a $500 investment. Bud, you've been good to us drivers all these years. And I'd like to be a part of this. But I just can't put my family at risk. Jimmy, take a few days and think about it. I don't know. Now, I love racing. I truly do. I just ain't convinced it's gonna amount to anything. Okay, I can't fault you for that, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead with it. Well, best of luck to you. I'd be proud to race at any event you have. Well, I'll certainly be in touch. Thanks for making the trip down, Jimmy. Appreciate it. Questions? What are you gonna call it? I already got a foot ahead of Curtis Turner. I'm gonna beat him by like four car lengths. I know he's, <laughs> he's gonna have a problem with that. That's right. He's gonna... I don't know, how'd you land back here so far? I don't know. Jimmy Llewellyn. Oh, Lord, here he is. What is with this get-up, boy? Ain't you racing today? Of course I am. Karen Reed is up yonder. They got my gear. This old man's off in the biggest purse I ever heard of, Jimmy. Hey, Curtis, this right here is Fireball Roberts. He's one of my boys from Florida. Fireball, how you doing? Aren't you the one I heard wrecked it on the ninth lap in Daytona? <laughs> You're gonna have to do better than that today, boy, if you want to win this thing. Yes, sir. Yes, win that sir. big money. Well, speaking of big money, I gotta go find my boy. He's helping me promote. Well, you folks, uh, be safe out there today. All right, Mr. Nance. All right, be careful that ninth lap. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Take care, Mr. Curtis. Nance. And that is. Here comes your daddy. You cold? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Have you looked behind your ears lately? Yeah. You have? Mm -hmm. Then you would see this money that I just found behind that one. <laughs> Look at that. You nervous? Hey, who's gonna win this race? Go, Daddy! Go, Daddy! Are you sure he's gonna win? Yeah. What are you gonna say? Go, Daddy! Woo! We know he's gonna win, don't we? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. business. Pretty good. Mm. Try shades doing all right. Mm. We're fixing to promote a race though. Mm. Carolina versus Georgia. Hey, I think that'll bring some folks out. Your pops doing real good in the Senate. Yeah, yeah, politics seems to suit him. It's no big surprise though. He's always good at telling other folks what to do. <laughs> Tell you, times sure are changing. Mm -hmm. Now I hear there's a color fella named Joey Ray coming up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Louisville. I think that's where folks say he hails from. Yeah. Yeah, here he's lobbying to try and get Nance's races. Man, hmm. Mr. Nance sure seems to be making a go of that thing. Tell y'all what. Hmm. It might, might, might turn into something. I just ain't convinced yet, you know? Let's see what it does. Tell you what, I'm gonna get some of Carrie's famous Coca-Cola cake on some. Hey, you should. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll take a piece. Thanks. Hey, do y'all have any milk? So I saw a little Gary crawling into your driver's seat today. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> Tell you what, that boy. He's coming up just like his daddy. I guess it's better than little Lou, though, ain't it? Well, I reckon she ain't far behind. You now they're asking me to run them down to Daytona next weekend. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Here there's a whole mess of new drivers. Well, that's interesting. It's gonna be a big purse. A big purse. Hmm. You know, some of the other families, they uh, they like to make a beach trip out of it. A beach trip? Mm hmm We're gonna get you a get you a tan. <laughs> me with a tan. Hmm. Hey, you're not still scared about me racing, are you? Not anymore. Give me the hand. If I could take you, Carrie James, on a walk through the pine. I could prove to you this heart of mine remains pure and true and it aches only for you if I could take you Carrie James on a walk through the pines if I could help you Carrie James to understand that without you and my world I'm but half a man tell me what would it take how many promises must I make until we can walk through this life hand in hand I'd give this world of my life If one day you'd be my bride And I could take you Carrie James on a walk through the pines Wow. 